Hello everyone, welcome to this third episode on how to use Blender for 3D modeling and 3D printing your own miniatures. My name is Jeremy, I hope you watched the previous episodes and uh, that you subscribed to the channel. Today we're going to learn about X-ray vision. You're going to do booleans, you're going to learn how to name objects, you're going to learn about normals, and uh, we're going to see how to export STL files for uh, your 3D printer. Alright, let's get going. So here we have our cylinder that we saved as a default startup file. It measures uh, two 3 millimeters by 3 millimeters by 4 millimeters high. Now, <clears throat> yesterday, just yesterday, I was drilling a bolter, drilling a, my barrel right here, bolter barrel, with my little drill, and I just broke it. I broke my bolter barrel. So uh, I had to print uh, new bolter barrels. Here is how I made it it's a cylinder. You need to rotate the cylinder. Boom, like this. It's more uh, looks more like a cylinder, like a barrel. Now we're going to go into edit mode. Make sure we are selecting our faces, planes. Inset it by 0.5 millimeter and extrude it. Ooh, we have a barrel. Ooh, I'm going way too far. Oh no! What have I done? So I went way too far, but it looks good. This is, I'm going to stick it onto my uh, bolter, but no, you can't do that. Because it's like a sock. If you take your sock and you flip it inside out, the inside of your sock comes out. It's the inside of your sock is on the outside. You can't do that. Your computer is going to go crazy and it's not going to print because what it considers to be the outside of your volume or the inside of your volume is now outside. So when your uh, mesh, uh, your uh, slicing program is going to try and create your uh, slices to print, it's not going to consider that part of your object because it's the inside of your object that's facing outside. It doesn't make sense. If you want to make sure your normals, these things that tell your slicer what to render for slicing is called normals. This is what makes the lights when you're doing a... CG animation or uh, normals. See here, this is your overlay display. At the bottom here you have display normals for faces, display normal for vertex. So as you can see here, we can see our normals. They're facing outside, which is good. But here we don't see our normals. They're facing inside, probably, because you can't see them. Now one way to see them is to go into X-ray mode. So X-ray mode is this right here, X-ray or Alt-Z maybe, or uh, depends on what platform you're using. So as you can see, your normals here are facing inside of your volume, and that's not good. You don't want this to happen. So I'm going to undo this move, undo, I'm going to toggle out the normal view, normals view, and we'll do this again. As you can see, when I'm going to extrude this part, I don't want to go further to bring it outside, like a sock flipping inside out. So I'm going to move it to about here. Now this looks like a barrel, and a bolt gun barrel has like this little hole on the side. I guess it's to uh, I don't know what, what it's used for on a gun, but... Uh, so, what we're going to do is create another cylinder right here. So we're going to go out of edit mode into object mode again. Go on our side view. Add another cylinder. So this is our cylinder. We're going to rotate it on the y-axis 90 degrees. Enter. The size is a little too big, so we're going to make it a bit smaller here. 
using scale, S, scale. Now this is just the right size. And front view, we want it to make to go across our uh, cylinder because we're going to use it to pierce our hole through the cylinder. So we're going to scale it on the x-axis here. Now we have two cylinders, one inside the other, like this. Now we need to subtract this second cylinder from our first cylinder here. So this one is called cylinder, and this one is called cylinder zero, zero 001. Now each object you create in Blender has a name. You can change its name here. For example, we'll call it uh, Bolter Hole. See, now it's called Bolter Hole. When I select it here, it says the name. It's called Bolter Hole. And this we'll call it Barrel. So this one is called Barrel, and this one is Bolter Hole. Now we need to subtract this piece from this piece. So we select our first piece, cylinder barrel, and we go into our modifiers tab here with the spanner key uh, wrench, I don't know what you call it. And we're going to add the modifier boolean. Boolean is an addition, subtraction, it's a boolean or a union, so you can intersect union or difference. Difference is a subtraction. Intersect is going to find where the two objects intersect and only keep that part. Union would join them. So we're going to make it the difference between the barrel and our bolter hole. And we're going to apply our modification. Now at first it didn't do anything. But if we subtract our bolter hole, uh, delete the bolter hole, boom, we have a hole. Now that was a boolean. So there we have our bolter hole. Now if we want to export it to print it, another thing we're going to talk about today is add-ons. You need to go into Edit, Preferences, and go into your add-ons and look for STL import export. Now mine is activated, but you need to activate import export STL format. Now once you have this activated, you can file export STL and export a STL file to uh, load up into Chittybox or uh, Chittubox or whatever slicer you're using. Or, uh, and that's it. So edit, preferences, add-on, activate, import, export, STL format. Add-ons, you have tons of add-ons in Blender. So that was today's show. Don't forget to subscribe, like. I hope you uh, learned something new today. And uh, see you soon in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.